Well, hello. I'm back. From where? Nowhere. Been here the whole time. So today, friends, I wanted to go through a kind of favorites video with a get ready with me using those favorites. So if you haven't been here before, I'm Erin. I am 47. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and now real estate agent. So that's what I've been doing is getting a whole new job. We'll get into that more. But if you want to see my new favorites that I've got for the last couple of months, I haven't done a favorites in a really long time. Keep watching and we'll get into it. Okay, we're in closer now so you can see the situation. My skin is prepped with my normal skincare. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary, nothing really new that I haven't really talked about before. I'm still pretty loyal to my Kiehl's vitamin C serum and the super corrective multi, you're very old, kind of 200 names. Super multi-corrective cream. It's my favorite moisturizer. I can't get away from it and it is a thousand dollars. No, but basically it's expensive, but there's nothing I like more. I've tried other things. I can't, I have to have it. Anyway, so that now that my skin is prepped, the first thing we are going to apply is a new favorite. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this and I love it. I don't know if I'll be able to live without it. And it's the Say Slip Tint. What this is, and I have it in flavor two. It's the lightest shade. I was kind of worried because why is it two? Normally I'm like zero one, but it seems to be fine. And this is, what do they actually call it? A broad spectrum SPF 35 tinted moisturizer. And I've been using this as my SPF. And what I really like about it is that it's giving you a little bit of coverage and then also that protective SPF step that you should be having in your skincare makeup routine. So I usually go in with like two pumps and I use my hands, me fingers, if you will. And it's just a really nice first step because you're getting the SPF, you're getting slight coverage, you're getting some nice like smoothness to the skin, which kind of is prepping you almost like a primer for whatever you're gonna put on next. Now, obviously you can see my imperfections still, but that's okay. This would be fine. Like, I feel like in the summer, a lot of times I'm just going to put this on and call it a day. Because, oh God, I, if you've been here over the last 700 years, 20, seven, no, 20, seven years, seven to eight years, it's about to be spring and I have boogers. I will try not to sniffle every five seconds. I can't guarantee anything. Let me just get a little this extra mascara we got going on. Um, but yes, so this has just been like, I love it. Love how it looks, love how it feels. And it's just a great first step. So you can see like, I don't know what's going on here and here. Do I have adult acne at 47? It's not really acne. It's just like irritation. And then let me get my hair out of the way here. The child is coming. Hold on. It's lingering. She's up here with me in her room. I don't believe for a minute she's gonna stay there. When does preschool start? It's lurking. <laughs> Moms of toddlers. She's my best friend and my favorite person in the world. Also, when does school start? Mama needs a break. It starts in the fall, in case you're wondering. Anyways, so I know this is not a new product, but it's new to me. It's the Fenty Matchstick, and this is in the shade Amber. It's like a contour bronzer situation. Uh-oh, no. That was almost toddler nudity. I had to get her out of here. Um, it's the Fenty Matchstick. So it's like contour bronzer. It's a cool tone, which I, I don't like a warm bronzer, so I'm all right with that to get my other mirror out because, you know, the deal. Whoa, blind. And I just like having the slip tint on first because it gives this something to like glide on. And I sort of warm it up on my hand first, but you can see it's more cool toned, which I like even for bronzer. I will do a warmer bronzer, but in the summer. So I just go in here in the hollows, give that little 
shadow and then right here, you know, the double chin. Shadow, shadow. Then I never go on my forehead because I have a small forehead. So face shape matters, friends. Then I go in with like a natural, it's like a duo fiber brush and I just blend. Blend, 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 blend. Sometimes I only do this and sometimes I go at the end, because you're gonna see what I do next, um, with a powder bronzer. Just depends on my mood. Anyways, it is the middle of March, the Ides of March, if you will, ready for it to go away. It's supposed to be about 50 today, so we're going to be going to the park after we get done getting ready. Um, I just went to New Orleans, which is one of my favorite places. I've been there once before. It's always been a place I've been drawn to, like, since I was a teenager. And we went for child-free for my wife and I's fifth wedding anniversary five years married it's like crazy I don't even know I mean it feels like a hundred years and also only three seconds but we went for four nights and Cookie my daughter my three-year-old stayed with Krista Auntie Gaga as she calls her they are best friends they love each other to the moon and back that's what they tell each other it's absolutely adorable and a dream come true because then I have somewhere to send the child and Krista gets cookie time. She wants to say hi. This She's got bedhead. <laughs> okay, you say hi and then you go back in your room. Can you say, oh, what's happening? Can you say hi? Okay. Can you tell them that you love Gaga? I love you. Can you say you love Gaga? I love you, Gaga. <laughs> They're best friends. Okay, go play in your room for a few minutes. See ya. Um, yes, they love each other so much. It's so adorable. I did not say play with the old Victorian dollhouse. Ma'am? Tiny ma'am. Yep. Unicorns. Very cool. Go in your room so we can go to the park. This is why I haven't made videos. I think I said that in my last video. <laughs> it's just very difficult. I have too many things. I need time management help <laughs> or I need to not do as many things as I try to do oh, one moment we've struck a deal she's gonna play at the haunted Victorian dollhouse <laughs> and stay over there so we've got good lord we've got the matchstick the Fenty matchstick on giving a little shape to the face ma'am you cannot hammer ma'am ma'am no hammering <laughs> The deal was broken and now she's angry <laughs> she's retreated to her bedroom with her ipad <laughs> it's like you can play with your dollhouse but you can't build an hammer and do crazy things oh my gosh okay so what i've been doing is just what you've seen the slip tint the matchstick okay then i've been taking a cream blush with that same duo fiber brush that i just used where the heck did it go and i've been putting my blush on at this point and almost like if you were here in the early days, a clown whore. Just a lot. I was never a blush lady. You've heard me say it a thousand times. But now that I'm 100 years old, I feel like blush makes me look younger. It's like that fresh faced, youthful glow. All along the cheekers, I go a little up here with what's left on my brush, a little on my nose like the sun got me, right? A little on the chin. Then, and this is not, this, I'll show you the blush. Blush, oh my God, brain surgery. The blush I'm using is the Tarte. I had gotten this thing, I talked about it before. Pink Sky Cream Blush. It's a pretty color. It's like a nice sun, like you've been in the sun color. Then, perennial favorite, the Mac face and body. I go in with that. I put it on my hand, back of my hand a little bit, just a little bit. Then, oh, bye, the cap has gone into the ether. Then I just dot it over all of what I've already done. It's kind of like the concept of underpainting, but face and body just makes everything look amazing. Then I take my sponge and pick up whatever's on my hand and just press it in. Okay, so I went to New Orleans. 
for my anniversary for four nights gaga Krista watched cookie it was awesome i went okay i did a full day we did all the things okay we were crazy we got there we did a, like a walking tour like a ghost tour in the french quarter we had cocktails at Muriel's, which is supposed to be haunted. They set a table for the ghost. It's so fun. But we went up on the balcony. It's like very iconic. If you know, you know. It's right by Jackson Square. Then we did a cemetery tour in the French Quarter because I had done one before in the Garden District. But see how beautiful that looks? It just smooths everything out. And it's like you have shape to your face, but it's very like blended and natural looking. So my favorite thing we did though was Vampire Day. So in New Orleans, there's a place called the Vampire Cafe, which has got great reviews on TripAdvisor for their food and stuff and they have drinks and they have like blood bags, not new, Adri Wine Concealer. They have blood bags that you can get. So I got one, Kelly tasted it and said it was disgusting. So <laughs> she just got, you can get regular cocktails. They're all like um, blood type, so like, you can get your own blood type or just pick one that sounds delicious. Um, I drank two blood bags that day. That day was crazy. Um, then we, where did we go after that? I know we had a lot of drinks that day. But anyways, and I'm not going to give too much away. There's a vampire speakeasy that you have to get the password from the cafe or the bookstore around the corner. So if you're in New Orleans and you're into vampires, check out the vampire cafe so you can get the password. We did. I'm not going to tell you where it is. It was super fun. I That was my favorite thing we did. Um, What else did we do in case I did something else that was really fun and I forgot about it? <laughs> we did a walking tour in the Garden District. We walked so much. Oh, we had our best meal in the Garden District at a restaurant called Coquette. It's on Magazine Street. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. We did the blind chef's tasting. We just like, we're like, whatever, give it to us. It was phenomenal. 100% go back there. Anyway, so that's what I've done recently. See? Flawless. There's no filter, obviously. This is just my 47-year-old face with makeup. All right, so I do have a new brow product, which is like a miracle because I don't think I've changed my brow routine really ever. <laughs> I usually go between the NYX Micro Pencil and really the NYX Micro Pencil. And then I usually use this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel on top. So these two together, which is going to cost you like 17 bucks. And now I found this, the Tarte Sketch and Set. Yes. And it is like $25, but you've got one end, you've got a pencil. This is in the shade Ash Blonde. And on the other side, and this is why I really like it. You have this very tiny little, what do you call this? Spoolie brush. Look how tiny it is. And it's super flexible, which I also think is a cool thing. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's bendy. So it really gets into like all the nooks and crannies. So I'm going to start by filling in my brow. I'm just going to do one and then nobody needs to see both. The light is like great in here, but it's a little blown out, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to fill in with the pencil first. Because I have bald spots like in here. I have used just the gel part. And I think, and I like that, but I think for that, I need to pick up a darker shade. Just because my brows are so non-existent and I'm so fair and gray. You know, like that skunk streak we got going on. Just the gel by itself looks a little warm on me and too light. But with the, oops with the pencil first. I really like it. Filling in, filling in. My only complaint is there's no spoolie to like brush through while you're sketching it out. But I'm going to guess if you're into makeup, you have a spoolie either one by itself or on another product. All right, so now that we're filled in, I'm just going to brush through with my NYX spoolie. Just to get that color dispersed all the way through the brow and soft. Ma'am. 
somebody save me. Oh. Yep. Okay, now we're going in with the gel. Sorry, I got to get my mirror up in here. And what I like about this brush is it really gets all the little hairs. And you can take it, like, I brush it through like this first. You know, like normal. Then, after I've done that, I go on just the tippy tip. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And where I have, like, bald spots, like here. And my tail is, like, invisible. It just kind of helps fill those spots in because it is getting on your skin. See the difference? I like it. I'll be right back once okay, I do the brows are done. So now we're going to move on to shadow. I got this around Christmas time. Um, I got a gift certificate from my children's. And so I bought this. It's the Dior. I believe it's called, it's the Backstage Palette Cool Neutrals. So it has like a pinky taupey vibe. So this is very, very pretty. It's expensive. It was like 50 bucks. But if you want soft shadow and like easy shadow, it works for that. If you want high impact, that's not your, that's not your boy. Um, but I like soft for every day. So we're going to clean off our brush. If you don't have one of these like color switch things, they're awesome. Cleans your brush off. Buddy. Um, and this has a built-in like base. This is a cream. So I just take my little paw and use that and put it on my eye. Today we're going to do a very quick, easy day look because we're going to the park. I got band practice. We're not meeting, I was going to say the Queen of England, but she has gone. <laughs> So quickly tap that on. Then I'm taking a flat shader type brush. I'm gonna go into this middle shade. It's like a purpley, taupey color. My jam. If you have green eyes, you'll like this. Or as my daughter told me yesterday, they're green with blue. How dare you? Yes, yes they are. <laughs> but I feel like green eyes are just more special. So I try to lean into the green part. I mean, they probably look green today because of uh, my shirt. Yeah. See how it's like not super impactful? Not that shade. The darker shimmer shade is a lot more pigmented. In fact, I brought just this palette to New Orleans and I used a lot of the darker shades when we would go out at night. But like I would start my day with these shades and then build up. So it's nice for that. And you can go more neutral and less purple with the shimmer that's above. I'll show you. This one definitely has purple vibes. And then like with everything I do, I always grab a, like a fluffy brush like this. Clean it off. See, I'm not using my pants because I have this now. <laughs> and I'm going to go into this light shade next to it and just use that mixed with this one actually to blend it out. So tap into each one and then just fluff that like through my crease. Actually, that darker shade that I just showed you is really pretty just all over the lid by itself as a matte one shade situation. Mom, Mom, Mom. Yeah, what? I love this. You I want this. that? I love Spider-Man this. It's a Spider-Man glove? It shoots webs? Cool. Yeah, I want this. You want that? Okay, put it on your birthday list. Okay. I need a pack of stuff and go down. We need, to pack, we need to pack our stuff and go there. Mm -hmm. Her little voice, it's so cute. My wife's like, her voice will change. Our older daughter, yeah, she's like, we need to change, that was so sad. Okay, she's watching Blippi. Okay, don't drop that. Can you turn the volume down, please? Ah! Tiny ma'am. Me fine. Me fine. I'm just gonna start saying that to people. Be fine. <laughs> I scream it and then run from my room. <laughs> it, it's fine. All right. So just a very like soft, pretty shadow look. Then 
I did give in to the hype and I purchased the telescopic. If you saw my short where I poke myself in the eye, it's good though. So I'm going to try not to poke myself in the eye. But now that I've said that, I'll probably obviously poke myself in the eye. So it's not as volumizing as I like, but for a look like this where I'm not wearing anything dark, it's kind of nice just to have the lengthening part. So I'm going to try not to poke myself in the eye. I'll probably just do one eye and then come back because, you know. I have to concentrate not to poke my eye out. It's kind of like you'll shoot your eye out, but different. So you're supposed to load it with the flat side, I think. And then you, once you load the product, you come back with the spiky side. And it's like one of those spiky brushes, which will poke your eye out. And then you comb through. The magic really happens on the second coat. Ma'am, turn Blippi down. Okay, that's one coat. Again, the flat side. See how it's like flat? Load product with that. Then comb through. You have to be careful of the stabbing. It's a little high maintenance, the fact that you have to be so careful. I have mixed this with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, like going in with Lash Paradise first. It works out pretty good. If you want a little extra volume to the length. But as you'll see, hold on. I always take my mascara wand and go like this. I'm scared of this wand though, so being very careful. Getting all those little lashes. You could probably go in another coat, but I'm a two coat girl pretty much. It's too much work. But see, it's pretty. All right, I'm gonna do my other eye. All right, we are mascara -ed. See, it's pretty. I like it. That's the telescopic lift. All right, I don't know what the difference is between this new one, the lift, and like the original. All right, so that's pretty much my makeup. But what I do is take this, I wanna talk about this, this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> I have resigned myself to use this completely up because for a while I just had it on display and my former sister-in-law bought me this probably like in 2015. There was an injury. <laughs> oh my God. Why do I try? So anyways, just taking some of that. I need to use this up and I might repurchase it because now I've rediscovered it and I really like it. It's just a soft, pretty bronzer. Like I said, sometimes I bronze, sometimes I don't. Then I'm going to take a fan brush and go into the highlight. The highlight is really subtle and pretty. It's kind of the perfect highlight if you don't want to look like you're in space, which I don't. A little there, a little over here, Cupid's bow, and under the brow bone. This little bit. And this concludes the Toddler Tornado Chaotic Get Ready With Me using some of my new favorite products. Let's review. First, the Say Slip Tint. Love it. The Tarte Sketch and Shape. Nope. Sketch and Set Brow Friend. The Dior Cool Nudes Backstage Palette. And the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. So, friends... Like and subscribe if you already don't, and you'll see me and probably a toddler in the next video. Hold on, let me put my eyeballs on, see how it looks with my eyeballs. What do we think of my new glasses? Let's get the hair going here. Okay, bye friends. <laughs>